Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm excited to be with you today. Um, I wanted to talk about something that's relatively simple and often overlooked by lots of different um, people involved in the O1 process, overlooked by the client, overlooked by certain attorneys, um, and just overlooked in general. So we're gonna talk about um, your CV. So your CV is also your resume, and um, this is the document where you are supposed to include all of your achievements, accomplishments, where you went to school, what your special skills are, etc. Um, if no one has told you yet and you're on your O1 journey or your EB1A journey or you're on your road to becoming an influencer, I will be the first one to tell you that your CV probably is not great. Um, and I'll tell you why it's not great. So when I um, start working with clients or when clients come in for a consultation, I always tell them, listen, your CV is probably fabulous and fantastic for the real world, but in our world, it's highly deficient. Um, in the real world, I think you need like a CV to be like one page or something. Um, you need to include where you went to school. All of these things are like highly irrelevant for the O1 world. Um, in uh, 401s, you don't really need to have a degree. In fact, a lot of my a lot of my clients do have degrees, but it's not a requirement, nor is it necessary. I've done, I've definitely done O1s for people who don't have a degree. So no um, USCIS, I always tell my clients, USCIS doesn't care if you have a degree, USCIS doesn't care about your special skills. What we really are interested in are your achievements. So in the real world, you'll have your one page CV with your achievements, where you performed, who your clients are, et cetera. In the O1 world, this CV should be highly explicit. You should view the CV as like a roadmap of your career, as the blueprint of your career. And you need to draft it and you need to include relevant information so that the attorney working on your case understands exactly what you've done because nine times out of 10, unless you're working with me, but nine times out of 10, attorneys don't really know um, the significance of certain things that you've done in your career. Um, so you wanna make sure that you include like intense background information about, let's take a theater performer, for example, um, the director, the venue, the producer, um, your castmates, anything. So I got a CV this morning from um, somebody who's a performer and on her CV, it was exactly one page like I'm describing. And um, she, this person has performed at Theater for the New City. So I personally know Theater for the New City because I used to perform for their street theater every summer. I did it for maybe three years. I performed for their street theater and I also performed two years in a row for their um, Halloween party here in New York. Um, guys, if you haven't been to the Theater for the New City downtown on the Lower East Side, Alphabet City, you've got to go. Their um, Halloween party is legendary. So I know this theater very, very well. I know Crystal Fields, the director, is highly acclaimed. I know that this is an award-winning theater. I know that this theater has pioneered street theater in New York City and on the East Coast. I know this information because of my general culture and my experience in the field. But nine times out of 10, if you're going to another attorney, they might not know that. I guarantee you they probably don't know that, which means that they'll just look at theater for the new city and they won't really understand the significance, the importance, the extraordinary feat that you've accomplished by performing for this wonderful, amazing theater company. So um, I invite you to switch your mentality, to switch your head once you start working on your CV for your O1, for your EB1A, um, for whatever else you decide to do in the immigration world, the legal world. For the real world, it's probably great that one page, fine. But for the O1 world, you want to be very, very specific. So. For clients who work with me, um, unless they've got a great CV, and some clients do, I'm not gonna lie, I have some clients who have very excellent CVs that have all the information that I'm looking for, so I don't really need to transform their CV. When I mean transform, I mean put in the relevant background information and details so that we have a greater understanding of their accomplishments throughout their career. 
So clients who work with me understand that one of the first steps that we undergo is this retransformation of the CV, including all the relevant background information about the venue, the production company, the theater, relevant cast members, whatever it is. We try to include as much information as possible so that we qualify and that um, someone who is not reading your CV would understand the importance of your work, the importance of what you've done. Um, so again, this is a very, very simple aspect of the O1 that is very often overlooked by clients, um, by immigration attorneys, um, by staff and immigration attorneys. It's a technique that I have developed um, throughout my career. And I think that it's really important to get as involved and intimate as possible with the um, profession of your client. The more information you know about the client's um, profession and the more details you put, the more it is easy for a, USC and a USCIS officer to analyze the petition and to really understand what the client has done. So oftentimes, because we don't know things, we will often overlook very important details. So I just gave you the example of theater for the new city, and I gave you a bunch of really relevant information to discuss the prestige and the importance of this theater, pioneering theater company in New York. Those details are what's going to make or break your petition. So everything in your CV should really be combed with a with a, with a comb, right? You want to make sure you're including all of those relevant details so that someone who is not in your field will understand the importance, the distinguished nature, the renown of your work. Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you will now look at your CV with a more critical eye and divide your CV into two different categories. The real world CV, which is one page, whatever you include in it, that's great. And then your O1 CV, which is highly qualified, highly detailed, and should be approached as a roadmap or a blueprint of your career so that anybody who does not know anything about your field can read your CV and understand exactly what a performer does, exactly what a UX designer does, exactly what a stage manager does, exactly what a visual artist does. You want to make sure that your CV is USAS 01 friendly. Um, stay tuned for later today. I will talk about um, why it is important for artists to have a LinkedIn. Um, see you later today and um, happy Friday.